I'm Meher Behel and I'm the founder of Restore Conservation Services. I was introduced to the world of digital heritage as a student at work intern at the Architecture Building and Planning Library. My interest in heritage was deepened by working closely with Professor Miles Lewis. Little did I know then that this was the turning point in my career. The Miles Lewis Heritage Building Materials Collection was something that most of the ABP faculty and students were unaware of. It sits in a quiet corner on the third floor of the MST building, out of everyone's sight, and is rarely ever accessed. When I was told that I was going to be a part of the project to digitize this collection, it was exciting for me as it was not just focused on creating 3D models of the objects, but also making them globally accessible. I had very little knowledge about this collection. I was initially tasked with creating the metadata for the objects, which meant getting to know the collection inside out. Unlike most cultural collections, the original curator of this collection was around to answer a lot of the questions. Professor Lewis's illustrated lectures and Australian building database, available on his website, were extremely helpful in filling in the blanks. The Australian building database explains the evolution of building technology and provides thorough explanations of some of the items in the collection. Going through a lifetime of Professor Lewis's research made it apparent that the stories behind the objects were as important as the objects themselves. As this was the first 3D scanning project at the University of Melbourne at this scale and dealing with an architectural collection, there were not enough established standards of description. This offered the chance to create standards specific to the project. A constant question for the team was how to take this collection from something that has been closed off in a cabinet for many years and convert it into a highly accessible resource for teachers, students, researchers and professionals. The target audience was varied and so was the intent of the collection post-digitization. It was important to capture the usual fields such as name, size, manufacturer and the like, but it was also important to capture what made each object unique by capturing the materiality, the inscriptions on it, its conditions and more. There were several stakeholders involved in the project, and even though everyone's roles were clearly defined, the digitization process needed to be streamlined. A workflow was devised to track the progress of digitization and was incorporated within the metadata spreadsheet, which involved adding the location of each item within the cabinet, adding the progress of digitization, that is not scanned, awaiting scan, scanned, or scanned and back to the cabinet, and adding identifier images of each object. As a result, it was easy for any stakeholder to track each of the objects and access them accordingly. This also helped make the collection physically accessible. The need to increase the accessibility of the collection grew as the project progressed. Initially, we decided to record a series of videos explaining the background of the collection. The purpose of these videos was to chart the evolution of the use of common construction materials and techniques within the Australian context and to understand global influences on Australian architectural methods, situating these objects within that context. Several videos were recorded with Professor Lewis explaining aspects of the collection object by object. To make the videos more engaging, 3D animations of the objects, explanatory diagrams, Trade pamphlets and images of the objects at original sites were added, transforming the videos into comprehensive resources. The result of this for the end user is that watching the videos is almost like doing a mini course in Australian building technologies and cultures. It didn't end there. By this stage, the base work was set, but a platform was needed to showcase the collection. A website was the obvious answer. Restore was then engaged to carry out its creation with generous support from the Vera Moore Foundation. This is where it all comes together. The 3D scans, the videos, the backstory, and all the extensive behind the scenes work. The most challenging part of this entire process was working through multiple iterations and having to innovate as we go. The future of digital collections relies not only on the digital objects, but also on their metadata. The whole team believes that the project presents itself as a powerful resource for students, teachers, researchers, architects, historians and collectors and sets a great precedent for other such collections.